cold. It's well, freezing. You know. yeah. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you'll know that back in the summer, one of my cycling chums, a chap called Andy, passed away very suddenly. And here we are in March 2021, and I and a group of Andy's other cycling chums are doing a ride to remember him on what would have been his 51st birthday. Although Andy could drive, he chose not to own a car and instead rode his bike everywhere. And today we're basically recreating his commute to work that he did every day of his life. And indeed, on that very last day, um, we're cycling from the centre of Portsmouth out to Gosport. And it's a distance of about 25 kilometers then I'll probably take the ferry back to Portsmouth to come back all right oh no I'm sorry <laughs> He had a lot of diverse interests from Morris dancing to photography to walking and then obviously cycling and one of his great passions in life was beer he liked his real ale and when we get to Gosport today we're gonna to pop into a little microbrewery that Andy was very fond of and have a pint in his memory pace today is going to be quite leisurely wherever possible we're going to be sticking to cycle paths um, and we also thought we were going to have some non-cycling friends of Andy join us sure we're following Andy's actual route to work but at least we're getting to see Cosham and the northern suburbs of Portsmouth Portsmouth was once voted one of the most dangerous cities in the UK to cycle but I've been cycling here for the last 25 years or so it has a very special place in my heart. As delightful and picturesque as the uh, northern suburbs of Portsmouth and Cosham were, I think we're now back on Andy's route that he used to ride to work every day. bitterly cold and there's a horrible headwind I really don't know how Andy managed it every day like I say he didn't have a car and if he wanted to get to work he had no choice but to ride I never realized this was a cycle route Turns out it's not a cycle route, we're stopping at a cafe. Yeah, and they're both a little grid on their face. <laughs> back on the road now. Must admit, I did have a bit of cake envy at the cafe back there. I didn't order any cake at all, just had a latte. But uh, we'll soon be in Gosport. Only another seven kilometres or so, and we'll be there.
speed's gone up a bit now. We're on a very, very nice, almost closed road cycle track. Beautiful surface. And uh, yeah, I think we're all trying to keep warm today. And here we are in downtown Gosport, another town with very strong ties to the Royal Navy. If you've ever used the phrase up the creek, it was because it started uh, when French prisoners were brought to military prisons here in Gosport. The, the main ships would anchor out in the Solent and then they'd be transported in a smaller boat up the creek to the prison at Haslar. But the, the phrase up the creek without a paddle, I believe, was down to uh, one of the US presidents in the 1930s. The little pub brewery thing that we're going to is housed in the what's now the Explosion Museum, but again, back in the day, it was obviously the explosive store for the Royal Navy. That's the Millennium Bridge, and behind me, you may have seen I think that might be the uh, HMS Queen Elizabeth, the Royal Navy's big aircraft carrier. Is anyone waiting? So that was a very nice pint of Devon cider at the Powder Monkey there. I chose that one because Andy was from Devon uh, it was a nice way to remember him. And uh, now Tell and I are riding back to the ferry to take us over to Portsmouth and then back home. into my cousin who I hadn't seen for about 20 years. I just thought I'd finish today's ride with a, a little ride along the seafront and again that's another memory that I have of Andy. We did my first ever 100 miler together and at the time I was living down here in Southsea not too far from Andy and we got back to my house and I had 98 miles on the clock and I was absolutely shattered and I was all ready to call it a day but Andy said no come on you've come this far Let's do the last two miles along the seafront, which we did, got back, and I had 100 miles on the clock, thanks to Andy. That's me, full circle, back at the car, 
40 kilometers in the bank of fitness but it wasn't about how far we could ride today it was just about remembering our friend who's no longer with us thanks to des for organizing the ride today and thanks to everyone that turned up um, thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one